In this video, I'll be showing you how to make two types of coffee. First one is Turkish coffee. First, we need to get finely ground coffee. I prefer this brand specifically. Second, we need some sugar. You can get brown sugar or white sugar. Next, you need a small pot. This is a Turkish cezve. You can also get a metallic small pot. Then we need a cup to pour the coffee into. Generally, we use small cups. You can also have these authentic cups if you have some. Now that we have our ingredients and materials, we can add two teaspoons per cup of coffee into the jezbe. Then we can add either no sugar or up to two teaspoons of sugar per cup, depending on how much sugar you like to add into your coffee. Next, we have to add water. Fill up the cup that you're using to make the coffee and pour the water into the pot. If you're making two cups, fill it up with two cups of water. Now that we have everything ready, we can mix the coffee. Now notice that we're mixing the coffee and we're not filtering it. Because Turkish coffee is unfiltered, it contains higher levels of the beneficial compounds traditionally found in brewed coffee. Once you've mixed it well enough, you can bring it over to the stove and turn up the heat. Generally, the coffee will take at least five minutes, but on average about 10 minutes to get ready. Once the corners of the coffee start rising, you can pick up the coffee from the stove. This indicates that it's about to boil and you should do so immediately. Once the coffee is ready, pour it into the cup slowly. Look at how much unfiltered coffee comes into the cup. Make sure you don't drink that. You should wait about two to three minutes so that the coffee settles to the bottom and that you don't drink all the unfiltered coffee. So here we have two cups, ready to go and be served. What's unique about Turkish coffee is that it provides many health benefits. It's seen that it, every cup of coffee consumed per day is associated with reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Additionally, it has lots of caffeine, so if you're a coffee lover, this is definitely the coffee for you. The second coffee that I'm going to show you is how to make whipped iced coffee. This is a very popular coffee now, and we use instant coffee to make it. I use this brand specifically. The second ingredient is sugar. And third, we have milk, something we didn't use in the coffee previously. Also grab a nice cup that you wanna make your coffee in. Finally, you also need a mixer. This mixer is going to help you whip the, whip the coffee. It can be a handheld mixer or other type of instrument. The first step after you've gathered your in materials is going to be adding one to two teaspoons of the instant coffee into your cup. It depends on how much coffee you like. After this, you need to add sugar. Again, depending on how sweet you like your coffee, you can add one to two teaspoons of sugar. I think the best is 1.5 teaspoons of sugar. Finally, we want to add some water. Doesn't matter how much, just a little bit, enough for us to mix and make the foam. After you swirl it around, get your handheld mixer and start mixing. After some time, you'll realize the more you mix, the creamier it gets, like you see here in the video. Depending on how creamy you like your coffee whip to be, mix it as much as you want. This type of instant coffee isn't going to be as beneficial as Turkish coffee. However, if you do like a little bit of caffeine and more milk, this coffee is going to be better for you. 
And now as our final step, we add the milk. You can use any type of milk you'd like, but I prefer whole milk. You can also warm your milk up and use hot milk instead of cold milk, whichever you prefer. Again, this coffee is going to have less caffeine, but it's a great option to choose if you like a little bit of coffee and more milk and sugar. Once an expert, you can make designs like this. That was all for today, and thank you so much for watching. 